<laughs> noob, noob. I heard you occasionally like to partake in the human. I just really like the sausage. <laughs> All right, we have a strange one for you today, folks. We don't really understand what's going on here, but sci-fi, maybe they just really like the movie or maybe they just really like eating people, but the article is, is eating people a solution to world hunger? The science behind Soylent Green by Cassidy Ward. I don't know any of this. So for those of you who don't know, in 1973, Soylent Green was released as a movie, which was a dystopian nightmare version of 2022 in which overpopulation and climate disaster have made the earth nearly unlivable what yes so it's a class stratification where the wealthy live in lush reinforced houses where the rest of the population is scrounging for scraps i'm pretty sure um Somebody pretty famous is in this. I should have looked that up. Sean first. Connery. No, Charleston Heston. You know, the guy from the Planet of the Apes movie. Was he Dr. Zayas? He was not Dr. Zayas. He was the Planet of the Apes. Oh, he was like the whole planet. Yeah, the whole planet. Like uh, Ego. He's the one who's like, you damn dirty apes. Oh, really? You did it. You really did it. He's oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Didn't yeah. he die? He's been dead. No, I meant like in the movie. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. He did die, spoiler alert, in the second plane of the Oof. Apes. Did yes. not end well for him. It did not. Uh, but with not enough food to eat, though, half the world's population is sustained by the only st staple food source created and sold by the Soylent, Gr Soylent Corporation. And it comes in various colors. But the new green variety is the most nutritious. What? Manufactured by Oceanic Plankton. What? <laughs> But we know the truth. It's people's penises. Soylent Green is people! So Soylent Green is actually made of people. Uh, is this story from an old 1970s movie? It is. What? So the story is... What? They're saying... <laughs> supposing we decided we wanted to transform our lost loved ones into what? food, we could definitely do it. I can't believe this is a story. First, they try to convince us to eat bugs. Now, they're trying to convince us to eat people. So, we can definitely be uh, eating cannibals. people. We can be cannibals. I don't think it works out that well because I have some science to back up my si to back this up myself that you should not eat people. Eating people is bad. Uh, is it though? It is. Soil and Green says otherwise. Well, first, you, you have to establish that you could do butchering. You could butcher we have we can process you know meat and well, let's all. do a spoiler alert how does soil and green end does it work out for them well i mean they've been eating people but okay seems like a sustainable the, model but they didn't know the science back in the day well there's too many people because what this guy says is uh i want to skip around in the article a little bit they say so this is ridiculous they're saying that the average adult American eats 525 pounds of food every year. No, I have no proof of any. Not of this. 525 pounds of people. No, because the average human weighs about 136 pounds. That doesn't sound right. So you would have to eat like two to three people just to make up for it. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. This seems like, oh, this article is a little shady because it says the estimated uh, rough total, there's 140 million people born, but only 60 million died, and that was during a pandemic. Oof. It seems like not enough people died. So we, like, almost double, two and a half times our population? Correct. There is a whole, we won't get into it, but there's a whole thing about population collapse, which we won't talk about. Oh, yeah, that's no. too intelligent for you. We're killing the environment. No, we that has to, nothing to do with population class. We need to eat people so there's less people. So are you prepared to eat people? Yes. Would you like to eat them in a powder or would you like to eat them as a cracker? Mm, I would. What's your preferable choice? Sauce. So, you want to make people sauce? I want sauce, to make them a sauce. But what would you dip in the people sauce? They're, uh, make them a sauce and then use the meat. So you like a jerky? Them. Ooh, a jerky! You're going for human jerky. I would go jerky. Uh huh. Jerky's good though. They're saying in this article 
not us is that a meat powder is the best way to go that doesn't sound delectable at all it says it's fairly simple to produce barely any convenience does it taste like shit though it tastes like i don't know <laughs> i don't know what a human tastes like do you i mean i've taken a nibble every now and again <laughs> never consumed well, apparently you have to dehydrate them and cook them over a low temperature. Oh, like dehydrated mangoes and stuff. Those are tasty. But our people. But you can <laughs> bake them into enough, crackers. You put enough seasoning on them. I'm sure it tastes like Or chicken. soup base. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Fucking lather that shit in barbecue sauce. <laughs> as long as it has enough sweet baby rays, it's ready to go. Ooh, that honey barbecue. Here's Fuck. the the problem that I don't think the film figured out and what humans are coming to realization of. We... You can't eat people because if you eat your own kind, you're susceptible to prions. What? Sounds like I've, a fake word. You don't know what a prion... Have you ever heard of mad cow disease? No. So mad cow disease is when cows eat cows, and especially cow brain, they get attacked by, it, it's like tainted meat. You'll see a recall for mad cow disease. Okay. It's caused by prions. Because you're eating your own species. Correct. So that's why cannibalism is, look, is probably not selected for in the humankind. You can do it in small quantities, I feel like. Mm. No, because what happens is that the prions are actually proteins, and what they do is they can't be cooked out, and they can't be. Uh, apparently, they have to be cooked in excess of a thousand degrees Celsius to destroy them. So prions are found everywhere, and uh, if you eat prions, they will they they cause your brain to like lose its folds and make you like insane. Yeah, but. Like but tasty humans. Food, though. But food. If you got no other choice, like, what are you going to do? They're saying that this isn't sustainable in this article, but I'm saying that the point isn't the point isn't sustainability. If you watch the movie, it's about reducing the population. Yeah, but what happened at the end of this movie? I don't. They found out that Soylent Green is people, and he just runs around screaming that Soylent Green is people. That's it? That's what, Yes. So and they don't like changes. stop eating people. No, because they're just like soiling green as people. And we're just like, well, okay, I guess. I mean, there's too many people. What are you going to do? Uh, fair enough. So the conclusion to this story of this article written by soiling Cassidy green. Ward. Nope. Spoilers for the movie. Not only is the prospect of turning people into crackers despicable and dangerous, it's also a bad business First model. off, turning people into crackers. So we're turning people into whites? Crackers. Crackers. That's a derogatory term for the white people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why did you go there? <laughs> so stupid. This article is clearly racist against me. Oh, my God. Because I am a cracker. Oh, my God. You don't even know. I'm a delicious I'm... cracker. Like a saltine? I'd let you put cheese on me and eat me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Bad business model. Yep. Not going to make any money. No. But isn't the point to reduce the population? Yeah, so if you eat me, I'm reducing the population. And then you can move on to more tasty things. Like I would. Burgers. I would reincarnate. As a burger? As Caitlyn Jenner's taint. Oh, my God. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why you said it either. I don't either. know why that was in my mind. Oh, good I, Lord. I know. I'm imaging it now. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. But... What we could really use from you, if you let us know, are you opposed to eating people or are you for eating people? Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. But for us, we'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, because if you don't, there's a strong possibility that Noob Noob will do this. I will do a live stream where I buy a gallon of Sweet Baby Ray's and slow roast myself in a pressure cooker. And you get to witness that because I'll be naked completely. Covered in slimy, sticky barbecue sauce. And that's either going to be a win for you or a big loss. <laughs> Your so you choice. Need to decide right now. Either way, you should subscribe. And like. It will help me either base myself better or not kill myself in a tub of baby rays. Smash that like button. Yeah. If you see the, the button below that's red and says subscribe, you should hit it. Anyway, that's all we have from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Be sure to check our full-length audio podcast. You can catch anywhere you can get podcasts on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those great places, and more. Plus, you can catch our live stream here Friday nights, 
7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Plus, check us out on Rumble because we're there as well if you want to. We love y'all, and we are on to the next one.